Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, an older LEGO Star Wars set. This is set number 4500, so 4500, called the Rebel Snow Speeder. So this is an old school LEGO set, ages 7 through 12. And uh, I mean, you can even tell but just by looking at the box, like how old it is. There's no, like, anything close to saying Disney on here. This is way before the Disney deal, before any of that. This is just back back with Lego and Star Wars teaming up. This set actually came out back in 2004 and is uh, obviously for Hoth from Episode 5 Empire Strikes Back. It includes 214 pieces and yeah, it comes with three minifigures. Now, I my goal kind of here, so kind of to preface this video, is I'm going to be reviewing every single Lego Star Wars set uh, that I can get my hands on basically. So I'm going to be going back through all the older sets and uh, taking a look at all these ones too and uh, and just kind of talking about all these sets as well. So this was a set, like I said, released back in 2004. Uh, like I said, it has 214 pieces, three minifigures, and back when it uh, was actually released back in 2004, it had kind of like an MSRP. It retailed for $20. So a $20 set included 214 pieces. So this was actually, you know, a little bit better than the, uh, the, the whole 10 cents per Lego piece. That is, I mean, it's good to see even back was uh, 17 years ago now that that was still the case, that they still like to do that 10 cents per Lego piece. And uh, as for the values for it now, it obviously depends if you want to buy it used or new. If you want to try and buy a brand new one, you know, sealed, never been opened or anything like that, you're looking to spend about $96. Or if you want to buy one used, you're looking at about $30. So me, myself here, I have a, uh, a one here that is used. And then I even have this one is brand new. So this is a brand new box from 2004 never been open there's not even any like tape or anything like that on it no, it's literally never been open so uh yeah it's kind of cool so i now have two of these lego sets i feel like i'm probably going to keep this one sealed for i don't know foreseeable future i have no real reason to open it because i have uh the same exact set right here so i have two of them so like i said rebel snow speeder so stance reason okay well we got the rebel snow speeder here like i said it includes three minifigures also has like this little radar antenna dish you know as we saw in episode five in empire strikes back and now the three minifigures that we have here are luke skywalker dak ralter and then just kind of an unnamed rebel soldier as well so the rebel soldier he's looking kind of funky i don't know what's up with his eye if that's supposed to be like hair coming down over his eye or what that is but uh i mean I do like that outfit though. I mean, that's the same one from what the Lego Star Wars video game, you know, where you got the guy with the mustache. You know, I really wish Lego would make an official character out of that guy, but I mean, Dak, he looks pretty good. He's got the blue helmet on here. Uh, just like a standard Lego face. I mean, there's like nothing to make him like stand apart from anybody else. And then, of course, Luke Skywalker, he's kind of got like a little, like a, a serious face going on here. He's like, err, you know. He's, uh, he's all about that. And here's what the figures actually look in real life. So, like I said, kind of cool. I mean, we got Luke. Luke is the one with the red helmet. Now he also has some yellow and black on the front, as well as a stripe going all the way back on his helmet with the red uh, Rebel Alliance logo. And then Dak, he has just the blue on there. So, same exact torso, same exact rest of the minifigure. The only difference is just the helmet and the face. And then also the fact that Luke Skywalker also has his lightsaber. So, it is one of those OG hilts on there as well so pretty shiny you know that's definitely something that has changed and then also kind of interesting too is with this lightsaber blade piece you know it does have the bubbles inside uh you know back in the day they all had the bubbles inside that seems to kind of be a, a thing of the past nowadays in 2021 they don't really have those anymore um but yeah so he is supposed to have like i mean you can use it as a bazooka you can use it as just like a machine gun or whatever but uh, on the set, they also have it mounted back here on the actual uh, snow speeder. So the box shows it up there, but it also shows it in his hand as well. So, you know, kind of a little bit of playability there as well. But yeah, so those are the three minifigures in there. Obviously, you can fit two of them in here. This third guy, this random rebel soldier, he's supposed to kind of go alongside this like radar dish piece. Just supposed to kind of hang out by that, you know, protect the shield generators from the Imperials. But uh, yeah, these are our two uh, pilot minifigures in here. And now on to the snow speeder itself. So 
pretty cool snow speeder. I mean, it was a fairly easy build. Um, kind of a side note though, something interesting about these old school sets like this from back in the day is the instructions were a lot more rudimentary back then. And uh, kind of what I mean by that is that the instructions were kind of pretty bare bones. Like they would just pretty much show you a picture of what the next step was. And then you just had to like follow that step like very carefully. Like the newer instructions, they tell you, okay, you're gonna you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna put it right here. Make sure it's right here. You know, on certain kind of complicated angles and stuff, they'll give you a different like view of where the piece actually goes. Not these old sets. These old sets, dude, it just like it just it tells you how many pieces, what pieces you need for uh, this like actual part. You know, like what do you need? for uh, this part of the instruction. Okay, you need like these three pieces and then you just have to look at the picture and basically find out and study it and find out where those three pieces go. You just have to really pay attention with these older sets, whereas the newer ones really walk you through exactly where each piece goes. Cause there's something interesting I've noticed with these old sets compared to say the newer ones. Um, on the front here, this is a printed piece, which is actually really cool on uh, the newer sets. I mean, we've pretty much only ever had uh, like stickers. It's been a while since we've really gotten some cool printed pieces, but back in the day they didn't do stickers, they just did printed pieces. So that's a printed piece, that's a printed piece, this right here is printed, as well as we if we lift this up, that's printed as well. And then if you look in the cockpit, now I honestly, I have, kind of have a gripe with the cockpit here. If you try and just like lift it up, it kind of works, you kind of have to like put some pressure back here because if not, that'll happen. It'll just like pop right off there. So it's kind of a little bit weird, but you get a really cool, unique piece in here with that. And you get an actual view of like an AT-80. -AT. Really awesome, dude. I like that. And of course, in the cockpit itself, you know, you have the front here. That's where Luke Skywalker would sit. And then on the back, that's where you would have Dax sit. So awesome stuff. There's no stickers at all in this set. Only printed pieces. We have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven printed pieces so far that I can tell of for this set. So pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, as for like how hard it was to build, um, I mean, the instructions aside, it was very easy to build. I mean, 214 pieces is not a lot of pieces, so it's very easy to kind of put it together, but also to see, okay, this is going to be pretty much mirrored to this side. So really easy to put together. I do like the detail over here on like the cannons on the turrets, as well as you kind of have like an air brake. We know when this goes up, you're fine. You pull that up, air brake. Uh, you also have the gun back here, which I mean, it's one of those older school ones. So it's not going to be like flick fire. It's not going to be a stud shooter. It's just an older school one. You know, there's no actual like interactability with it. You just kind of have to pretend like you're shooting with it. But there is one piece of this set that is, you know, actually really playable, and that is back here with the tow cable. It is actually functional, so it has a little Technic piece here and the hook on the string, and so you can actually wind this up and down, and uh, if you bought the at, -AT you could legit wrap this around it, you know, and pull it down. So really cool there. Um, I mean, I really like that, dude. It's such a cool detail, and uh, I mean, this is really the most playable part of the set. Uh, the rest of it, you know, kind of, it, it seems like it's, it's way more for a little bit more like displayability, you know, kind of for like putting it on a shelf rather than playing it, except for when you look in the back. Like obviously like this isn't canon, this isn't what an actual Rebel Snow Speeder has on the back, it doesn't have a little turn thing. It's just, you know, for playability, for kids to be able to play with it. So, I don't know, kind of cool. Uh, I feel like if they were to remake this same set, and I'm sure they also have, you know, if they were to make another one here in 2021, they probably put some flick fire missiles on here, have a lot more playability, stuff, you know, you can actually interact with. Whereas this one's like, yeah, you can put the characters in there, you can kind of move this around, you can drop the, like, hook in the back, but that's about it, you know. Uh, I would like to be able to see, I don't know, maybe a little bit more, but I don't know, I mean, as for this set, though, in general, like, over here we got uh, this, like, radar dish, pretty straightforward i mean it, it spins on this four by four piece and then also goes up and down as well um i mean pretty basic but uh, i mean it is kind of cool use of these different pieces to achieve this effect where you can spin it and then also go up and down at a certain angle as well you know it gives you a full uh, almost 360 degrees of motion but really cool set guys i mean like i said i'm reviewing this in 2021 this set is 17 years uh old by now you know, obviously you can't just like go out to your local Lego store and just buy this. But uh, if you have the chance to pick this set up, you know, off of eBay or Bricklink or wherever else, I think you definitely should. I mean, we got like your old school Luke Skywalker here, even for just collecting purposes. I think it's a good deal. 
Um, I think that probably the best deal for this set is if you score one used. I don't really see any point in buying this one brand new unless you are like a collector, but of course, then uh, that doesn't really matter much to you. Obviously, you know, you're always going to buy them new no matter what, but really cool snow speeder though. Uh, it will be interesting um, as I go through and I start to build my up my collection more as we're going to be reviewing every single Lego Star Wars set that I can get my hands on. It will be interesting to kind of compare this set against the ones that come after it. And I believe there's even a set that came before this. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure there was a snow speeder before this set actually released. But yeah, that is it. That is the Lego Star Wars Rebel Snow Speeder. Really cool set, guys. Honestly, I'm impressed. $20 back in the day. Now, I mean, the value of it used is 30 bucks. So, I mean, 17 years later and you're only paying like 10 bucks more to get it used, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, some of these sets have jumped up in price like almost 10 times the price as what they were back then, even for used. And it's kind of ridiculous, but... Yeah, really cool set though. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in this in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.